Seth Brown, Harrison, Junior. Before Money Brown, he get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I just want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Money Brown TV. Money Brown TV. Hey, Brian Garcia here. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, fight? What is your boy, Money? Back with another one, man. And this one here is on the Big Fish, the king of the welterweight division out of Dallas, Texas. Earl the True Spence Jr., who is currently the WBC and the IBF welterweight world champ. Looking to grab the WBA Super World title when he take on Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. We all know the A Division world champion, the Filipino iconic superstar boxer, the, the Hall of Fame fighter, right, who's looking to put it all on the line as he give his last hurrah, taking on, you know, this young killer right here, Earl Spence. Now, family, we all know Earl just came off a hell of a win over Danny Garcia um, after his car crash, and now he's in the biggest fight of his career. The biggest fight of his career, his biggest legacy fight, taking on Manny Pacquiao, you know, who is the 42-year-old veteran. But this is my thing. To all these cats out here continue to talk about this steroid shit and this blood testing, right? It's getting so fucking um, nerve-wracking. It's getting nerve-wracking, bro. Understand this, bro. Earl Spence is a clean fighter. He's a clean fighter, right? He has the WBC um, welterweight world title to the point to where we all know if you got the WBC, you're in the Vada Clean Boxing Program, right? Earl Spence and Manny Pacquiao will have random blood and urine testing, all right? So let's leave that alone. These cats out here, they're trying to destroy this fight because Earl Spence got Manny Pacquiao, and it's getting nerve-wrecking, bro. It's getting nerve-wrecking. You feel me? Manny Pacquiao is a clean fighter, whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not, the man never was caught for anything. He was never caught for anything. He's coming off a, a, a spectacular victory over Keith Thurman, right? A 12-round decision, dropping Keith Thurman, getting a W in a hell of a fight, or was it a spit decision, right? And a hell of a fight, you know, to prove that Manny is still a special talent. Still a special talent, bro. He put the hard work in. He put the hard work in, and it's paying off for him. Now, a lot of people want to say this, say that. All right, speculate all you want. Manny Pacquiao was never caught for anything. Never caught for anything. Now, we know we got Floyd out there saying this and that, that and this. But when Floyd fought Manny Pacquiao, there was blood and urine tested. He came back clean. He came back clean. Yes, we know the story about why the first fight didn't happen. But nonetheless, the man was never caught on anything. Earl Spence Jr., we all know in the beginning, Cats were saying he was on this, that, and the third. Oh, look at his nipples. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. It doesn't matter, fam. The man was never caught on anything. You understand what I'm saying? Never caught on anything. Caught there, hard work, dedication, right? Hard work, dedication. Believe in yourself. And go put your talent on the, on, on the line. Talent versus talent. And that's what's fit happen here with Earl the True Spence Jr. and Manny Pacquiao. You feel me? Earl know what he signed up for. Manny Pacquiao know what he signed up for. These dudes about to get in there and give us a classic. Give us a classic, bro. You understand what I'm saying? And they will be tested. So let's cut that out, bro. Let's cut it out. Let's enjoy a great fight. Let's enjoy a great fight. I get tired of seeing y'all dudes out here trying to make like y'all the, oh, you know, we've been worrying about this and, you know, we know Manny Pacquiao, when he fought Keith Thurman, we know they didn't test. We know they didn't do this. We know they didn't do that. Yeah, just because if, if let's just say they didn't test. We don't know. But let's just say they didn't test. Doesn't mean they was dirty. You feel me? Doesn't mean they was dirty. So let's cut the bullshit. What y'all doing is trying to discredit the fight, bro. What y'all doing is trying to discredit the fighters. You understand me? Manny Pacquiao, an A-Division world champion. A, a fucking walking icon. One of the greatest fighters to ever lace him up. No matter how you try to slice it or dice it. At 42 years of age and still performing at a high level. You understand me? Still performing at a high level. And still it's the man that's going to pass the torch 
after he fight Earl the True Spence Jr. Because I do got Earl winning this fight. But nonetheless, bro, I'm getting tired of these dudes out here. Soon as the fight get made, the first thing they run to their little channels and say, Oh, when are they starting blood and urine testing? Motherfucker, they haven't even started training camp yet. You understand me? Now they can start getting ready for, for their camps and getting ready to, to put the hard work in. But the first thing these dudes do to discredit the fight is run and try to talk about some goddamn PEDs that neither one of these men will ever call for. Neither one was called for nothing. You feel me? Now, like I say in the beginning, when Manny Pacquiao was supposed to fight Floyd the first time, Floyd wanted a blood and urine, a random blood and urine test. Manny denied it. Right? He denied it. Saying he was afraid of needles when he got tattoos. You know what I mean? So, yes, it looked as suspicious. You understand what I'm saying? Even I had questions. Even I had doubts. But guess what? I didn't run to no fucking YouTube channel. I didn't run and say, oh, Manny Pacquiao was on something this day. You want to know why? Because the man was never caught. They never tested him. He was never caught. So I'm not going to put that jacket on that man. I'm not going to try to destroy his career talking about Manny was on this, that, and the third, and he was never caught. You feel me? It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what you think. If the man was never busted or caught on anything, I'm not about to put that jacket on him. You understand me? Earl the True Spence Jr. has been tested multiple times. Remember the Kell Brook fight when Kell Brook said, oh, make sure you make weight, right? And, and, and West Nevada, right? Came on there trying to blast Earl Spence talking about Vada, right? So what Earl Spence do the next day? Set them damn Vada papers in. Say, let's get it. You ain't getting away from this. You ain't getting away from this. You feel me? If you think I'm cheating, we go prove that I'm not cheating. Set that motherfucking bottle of papers in and went over there and stopped that boy. Showed y'all that it was hard work. Hard work and dedication. Nuts and guts in the ring. And performed the same way he was been performing, right? Putting on the same goddamn impressive um, um, output that he was putting out. Manny Pacquiao, the same output that he was putting out. So let's cut the bullshit, man. Y'all dudes are just terrible, man. Y'all dudes are terrible. Y'all trying to discredit this fight. So if Earl Spence come out victorious, y'all can try to say, oh, was he on something? Or if Manny Pacquiao come out victorious, y'all can say, was he on something? No, we're not playing them games, bro. We're not playing them games. Both of these dudes are clean fighters. Both of them. You understand me? Once the WBC is, in, is involved, you got to get tested anyway. The body clean boxing program. And don't give me no shit about, well, they can start now and then they can start cycling off. So when did they start getting tested? Oh, when is this? Oh, man, get the fuck out of here, bro. I hate soft ass dudes like y'all, bro. I hate y'all because y'all try to destroy the boxing game. Dudes like y'all is what's bad for boxing. Y'all are bad for boxing. You feel me? If these men has never been caught on nothing, we're not fit to put no jacket on them. Let these dudes be. Quit the defamation of character. Because that's all it is, the defamation of character, bro. And it's a sucker move by sucker fans or so-called sucker fans. You feel me? Let these dudes breathe, man. They about to give us a hell of a fight. This is a legacy fight. This is a classic fight. This is one of the, arguably the, the biggest fight of this year. Besides Wild Damn Fucking Fury, this is the biggest fight of this year. Earl Spence Jr. vs. Manny Pacquiao. Thank you, Pacquiao. Much respect to you. Thank you for getting in the ring and giving Earl Spence the opportunity because you didn't have to do this, bro. That's some trill shit that you're doing. Very trill. You try to get Bud Crawford the opportunity, but Bob Arum didn't want to grasp it. He didn't want to believe in Bud. He didn't want to give you the money to put Bud on that level. Nor did he ever want to give you the money to put Bud on that level. But Al Heyman will give you the money to put Earl Spence on that level because he believes in this fight and he understands what this fight is going to be. You understand me? He understands what this fight is going to be. And it's going to be one hell of a fight. And this fight is going to sell. And this fight is going to sell out. You feel me? The arena is going to be packed. You better get your tickets because they're going to go fast. When them tickets get released, you better get your tickets because they're going to go fast. 
And I mean fast. You understand me? So to all you haters out there trying to discredit Earl the True Spence Jr., trying to discredit Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, these dudes are great. These dudes are great. Pacquiao is a living legend. You understand me? Eight division. i never be done again. Probably not while I'm alive. Probably not while you're alive. Eight fucking divisions, bro. Get that man his flowers. Give him his roses. Respect that, bro. He put on for boxing. He helped carry boxing. Just like Floyd put on for boxing. And helped carry boxing. Like Earl Spence is putting on for boxing. And fit to help carry boxing after the Manny Pacquiao fight. Because I do got Earl winning. And retiring Manny Pacquiao. You feel me? So, when we sit up here and talk about this steroid shit. When, when you don't have no proof and neither one of these dudes cheating. I just look at it as a sucker move. And to the ones who listen to these dudes, man. Y'all are... are, are Jipping y'all self out of a great fight. Why rob y'all self out of history? Answer me that question. Cats rob they self out of history and greatness every day. We get a great fighter come along, right? Right? Get a great fighter come along. Cats will rob them their self out of a great fucking fight because they want to follow a stupid ass narrative that's stupid. This man is out there putting on a hell of a performance. Oh no, I don't want to watch him fight. You know, fuck him. Um, he ain't my nationality. I don't care about him. But all along, this man is making history and putting himself in the history books and giving us blood, sweat, and tears. And you talking about you are a boxing fan, but you want to miss out on one of the greatest boxers to ever lace him up. Stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me. To the ones that's out there that's trill, that's real, that love boxing, this is going to be a hell of a fight, family. Earl Spence Jr. versus Manny Pacquiao is going to be a hell of a fight. Two clean fighters putting it all on the line. For our entertainment purposes, Manny Pacquiao, 42 years of age, going up against Earl the Truth Spence Jr., who's 31 years of age, a Dallas native versus a Filipino born. You feel me? And they're going to put on, bro. It's going to be a classic. It's going to be fan friendly. It's going to be one that you can tell your grandchildren and their, your children about. You feel me? Your children, your grandchildren, and your great grandchildren. Because this fight is going to last for a lifetime. It's going to last for a lifetime. This is going to be one hell of a fight, fam. This is going to be one hell of a fight. You feel me? If, if it was one person that I wanted to see fight Manny Pacquiao, it's Earl the True Spence Jr. And another one was Edwin Valero. Rest his soul. You feel me? And rest his wife's soul. But Edwin Valero and Earl the True Spence Jr., right? Two names I want to see go up against Manny Pacquiao. Terrence Bull Crawford was another one, but his promoter fucked him out of the fight because he didn't want to pay. But this Earl Spence and Manny Pacquiao right now with Pacquiao even being 42 years of age is going to be a bad motherfucker, family. And I promise y'all that. I promise you. And if it, if it turned out to be a dud, I will come back here. I would apologize and I'll shut my channel down. But I know this fight going to live up to the hype. I know this fight going to be a great fight. I know that if it is going to give us a classic because of the styles of fighting. If you know anything about boxing, you know styles. And you know these two styles are going to match. And it's going to be a great style because these motherfuckers going to meet up in the middle and they go bang it out. I repeat, they're going to meet up in the middle and they go bang it out. You understand me? As clean fighters. Clean. So y'all quit hate and enjoy the fight, suckers, because y'all going to be somewhere watching. Period. To all the real boxing fans out there, y'all enjoy, my brothers and sisters. We going to enjoy this one. On that night, hopefully I got my live stream back. That way we can be in the chat room, laughing it up, kicking it up, talking about the punches that's been thrown, and we can watch the post fight. Whether you're going for Earl Spence or Manny Pacquiao, whomever the winner is, we're going to get them their flowers and their praises, and we're going to move on to the next. But until then, y'all, this is a clean-ass fight with two clean-ass fighters. Um, Manny Pacquiao already living legend, and Earl Spence turned himself into a living legend. And we're going to leave it at that. Until then, this your boy Monty. This is the ANSBC. Move with anybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Money on Cash App. TreyHampton52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the video. Y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status family.